Understanding Criminal Prosecution, a Guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an important and interesting aspect of the English language, especially when it comes to law and order, criminal prosecution. This topic might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just curious about legal terms, this video is for you. Criminal prosecution refers to the process by which a person accused of committing a crime is brought to trial and judged. It is initiated by the government and is carried out in a court of law. The key components here are criminal, which relates to crimes or the breaking of laws, and prosecution, which is the act of conducting legal proceedings against someone. Together, they form a phrase that's central to understanding how justice is served in many countries. The process of criminal prosecution can be broken down into several stages. 1. Investigation. This is where the crime is investigated by the police or another authority. Evidence is gathered to find out what happened and who is responsible. 2. Charging. If there is enough evidence, the accused person, now referred to as the defendant, is charged with a crime. 3. Arraignment. The defendant is brought before a court to hear the charges against them and to enter a plea. Guilty, not guilty, or no contest. 4. Trial. If the plea is not guilty, a trial is held. Evidence is presented by both the prosecution, who represents the government and the interests of society, and the defense, who represents the defendant. 5. Verdict. The judge or jury considers the evidence and makes a decision regarding the defendant's guilt. 6. Sentencing. If the defendant is found guilty, the judge will determine the appropriate punishment. A key figure in the criminal prosecution process is the prosecutor. This is the legal representative who brings the case against the defendant on behalf of the government. The prosecutor must prove that the defendant committed the crime beyond a reasonable doubt. It's a role that requires a deep understanding of the law, as well as a commitment to justice and fairness. Criminal prosecution is essential for maintaining law and order in society. It serves several important functions. Upholding the law, ensuring that those who break the law are held accountable, protecting the community, preventing future crimes by deterring criminals, seeking justice, providing a sense of closure and justice for victims and their families. I hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and importance of criminal prosecution. Remember, this process is a fundamental part of the legal system that helps keep our communities safe and just. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to exploring more topics with you in the future. Keep learning, and see you next time.